asymptomatic cases of COVID, I know it blows your mind. In fact, I know this because the last video I did on it just recently about how the CDC says that about 35% of people infected with COVID are likely asymptomatic. You guys have blown up the comments with questions that you have and things that you're wondering. So this session is dedicated to answering your questions about asymptomatic COVID infection. Quick reminder, asymptomatic means that you are infected with COVID-19, but you don't have the symptoms people usually have, fever, a shortness of breath, cough, like all the other symptoms we've been learning about, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So let's jump right into the question, guys. Uh, one of you on Instagram asked me, you said, okay, Dr. Jen, if 35% of people infected with COVID are asymptomatic, and you're saying it can be spread that way, because by the way, it can be, how are you spreading it if you're asymptomatic? This is a, a viewer from Instagram. My Instagram account asked me, I'm on Instagram with Dr. Jen Cottle, by the way. Anyway, to answer your question, um, that's a great question. So regardless of whether you are asymptomatic or if you have symptoms, coronavirus is still spread the same way. That is through the spread of upper respiratory droplets, droplets that fly from our mouth and our nose when we cough, sneeze, talk, all that good stuff. This, guys, is why wearing a mask is so important. And as I said in the last video, one of the reasons why we move to wearing masks for everyone pretty much every time we are outside is because you could potentially be spreading the virus through these particles even when you don't have symptoms. So the short and the long answer is you still spread it the same way, whether you have symptoms or not. It's still spread through these droplets through your mouth, your nose. Okay, next question. This is from a gentleman from Facebook who asked me, okay, Dr. Jen, if so many people are asymptomatic with COVID, why then do you only get to be tested if you have symptoms? Ah, very clever. It's a good question. That's one of the biggest problems we've been having. You know, we've been fighting for more testing since day one of this virus. This is the reason why testing anyone and everyone is important, not just the people with symptoms. The reason why many places were only testing people with symptoms is because we didn't have enough tests to go around. So we had to prioritize them for people who were healthcare workers or people who were in the hospital sick or people who had symptoms. We just didn't have enough tests to test anybody and everybody. Of course, our testing capacity has opened up now, but you're right. Because remember, if you are asymptomatic and infected with COVID, you don't know you have COVID because you don't have symptoms. So the only way you'll know is if you get tested. And that's one of the reasons why if you have the opportunity to get tested, it is a good one to take. Next question from a viewer from Facebook. Do you eventually get symptoms of COVID if you are asymptomatic at first? Great question. Well, interestingly enough, there are some people who start out and don't have any symptoms of COVID, and then they may eventually develop symptoms, maybe throughout the, the days uh, of them being infected. That is possible, but that's not necessarily the case for everyone. Some people who have COVID infection will never get symptoms. Remember, the most important thing you can do to protect yourself and other people is to wear a mask because that way, if you happen to be asymptomatic or if someone else is, it makes sure that other people stay protected against those who may be asymptomatic. Guys, there were so many questions. I'm going to do a part two for this. Uh, stay tuned for that video. It's going to come out very shortly. I'm going to answer a few more of your questions about asymptomatic transmission. Please share this video. And remember, uh, if you're interested in sending stars, I answer your questions first. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen I will see you soon. And welcome to...